Evening, folks. This is the Grumpy Janitor, straight up out of the broom closet. And I want to talk about a tragedy that has taken place recently. I'm talking about the tragedy of Lindsay Lohan's career. First, this little lady goes to Cannes, goes overseas, when she knows she had a trial date. And now the judge has issued a warrant for her arrest. And if you know Lindsay Lohan, like most of us know Lindsay Lohan from the media press, you know that Lindsay Lohan is just not the way she used to be, and I really miss her. I really miss the Lindsay Lohan that used to star in Mean Girls and Herbie Goes, that Herbie movie with Love Bug in it, latest one, and all those you know other movies such as Freaky Friday. And the Parent Trap, and you know, just, it's it's so frustrating to see Lindsay Lohan just kill herself like that. A lot of people were saying that Lindsay Lohan's gonna die, and Lindsay Lohan is just, you know, going south too quickly because of the binge drinking and the drugs and the, you know, just erratic behavior and. She was, she tried to she tried to be a successful singer, but then she got dropped from this label Casablanca, and she had a hit called Rumors, and it was a nice song. And she said she's you know not a bad singer. She's not a great singer. He did. She's far from uh, you know Courtney Courtney Love, but you know it's just so sad to see a girl fall so far. And. Then we hear about her breaking up with Will Dovama, Will, Will, what up, that Venezuelan guy from the 70s show, that 70s show, Wilmer Valderrama. Then she goes on with uh, Lindsay Lohan, not Lindsay Lohan, damn it, no, I mean Samantha Ronson. And then she uh, sort of kind of breaks up with her. Now she's hooking up with this older woman from, this older This woman, I don't know. Anyway, it's just so sad to see her, you know, like this, you know. And then now she's facing jail time because of something. It's so sad. It's just that, you know, I just wish that she would, you know, concentrate on, on her career more. And not um try to, you know, be such a bad girl, you know. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just hoping... For something like uh, impossible, maybe. And I know I was supposed to, uh, you know, write something down to try to prepare for this uh, group agenda thing, not be so improv too. But I promise you, people, this is the last time I'm going to uh, go improv too on this thing. If I go, this is just this is really testing this new webcam I just got. It's kind of cheap and it's kind of not. Um, maybe I should just go back to my old camera. I'm, I'm not sure, but, you know. Anyway, hit me back and tell me whether I should go back to my old camera or whether I should not. But getting back to Lindsay, you know. She's claiming that somebody stole her passport in Cannes so she couldn't go back to America. And now her mother is saying that she needs a new, um... Pass, she's got a new passport and she can come back and um saying she didn't report the stolen passport to French authorities I mean duh you should have done that in the first place when you found out the thing was stolen and now people don't believe you now people are thinking that you don't want to come back to America because of all this you know these things that's going on you know and now you want to I mean it's so sad I mean she's you know I just want I just wanted to see Lindsay Lohan, you know, just clean up her act, but from the way things looking right now, sh there's not a lot of hope. And frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of people that just get in trouble and just they're all over the news and the people who try to do good and they try to give to the charities and try to you know, do everything for the kids and try to, you know, 
trying to make a positive image is it just get basically ignored. And you know, Lindsay Lohan is one of the latter people, you know. I'm sorry, the former people. The one of the former people who, you know, get in trouble and they're all over the news and, you know, it just seems like the news has a the um you know the media has a hard on for bad news is ridiculous and it's got to stop because a lot of people don't want to hear about you know stars falling unless of course you're jealous of them which a lot of people are just jealous of these people you know who um are real big and they're just living by the margins and um I think we should just Lindsay Lohan needs to just get back to entertaining the fans and try to, you know, come out with a good movie and just simply, you know, get her head out of her ass. I mean, it's as simple as that. She's just got to get her head out of her ass. <sighs> so anyway, this is my final Improp 2 video that I'm going to do. I am going to try to prepare for this and... Maybe this webcam may work out like I planned it. Maybe it won't. But for the 10 of you that are watching me, hit me back and tell me if I need to go back to my old format. Okay? You guys have a Maxwell House evening? Well, have a Maxwell House morning in the morning because this is basically the afternoon. And uh, bon appetit, bitches. <laughs> Enough said.